a hundred miles. I'm gonna whistle all the while. If that's what it takes to make me smile, I'm gonna walk a hundred miles. Early in October of 2019, we found ourselves in the quaint and sleepy little town of Fries, Virginia. A lot of our destinations have been chosen by looking for two things: a good bike trail to ride on, and a nearby RV park that has electrical hookup and air conditioning for our fur baby Kaliki. We hope you will join us on our 14-mile segment of the New River Trail from Fries to the world capital of old-time mountain music, Galax, Virginia. And be sure to stick around while we review the RV Park New River Trail. Well, I've got to say, I think we've done well here getting to Fry's off the New River. Although this isn't really the river. This has just came in the last uh, well, half an hour, this rain. And um, it was a downpour. But this is going to be a gorgeous campground. And I think it's in about a mile or two from the New River. 50 mile bike ride. Rails to trails. So I think we're going to have a good time there. Kaliki, are you happy, boy? Are you happy, buddy? Okay. Man, this is gorgeous. So, I guess the only question is, are our bikes going to be okay? I just put a tarp over them rather than a full um, bike covers. And I'm just um, looking at it down in here. I'm just hoping that Grace's is not going to have too much water in this. I don't know. We had some problems. Oh, about two or three weeks ago, but hopefully we're not going to have any internal shortening that caused her to go th full throttle or no throttle. We'll check it out in a little bit. Okay, we are hoping for the best. You can see there was water from the rain still puddling, but I got to say that this campground, I think the best I've seen in terms of having gravel, I don't know if it's a foot deep or whatever, and it's compressed also, so uh, no chance for dust, dirt, mud, even with that several inches of rain that we had in one hour, extremely good drainage here. So we are in Fries, Virginia, and we're going to be heading for the New River Trail. Now it's supposed to be lots of uh, trestles and um, I think even maybe the tunnels are in this stretch here. So Grace is my leader. And um, we're going to go by the school, I understand. Oh, there's Fry's School. Oh, the river is looking gorgeous. Doesn't look like it's a deep river, but um, at least right now, it's running pretty good. It looks like it's um, some sort of a mill or something here by the water, and Right now, the spillway is doing quite well. <laughs> it's um, a lot of water coming downstream. Hey, we're back on New River Trail. And so, here we are. <laughs> um, looking up ahead, it is pretty black. It started um, raining. See a little bit starting to spritz up there on Grace's um, Garmin. Oops, sorry. And um, what do you think? Do you feel lucky? You want us to keep moving? It looks pretty dark up there. Yeah, yeah, it does. So I guess that sounds like you want to stay. I'm not sure. Okay, well, life is full of risks. Um, let's go ahead and head some and 
We can duck back here or else decide when we get up about a half a mile, okay? Okay. And so as we continue ahead, it um, looks like there could be an opening there. I <laughs> see a little color, sun or something out in the distance. And on this uh, side trail, looks like uh, we're coming to the spot where we can connect with the other part, which is going to take us more south. Oh, Grace says that's not true. Okay, car coming, honey. So I guess Grace says we have to go another five miles up before we would go, be able to go south. So, all right. Looks like it would have been a nice place to cut south, but I can see that, yeah, it probably wouldn't have been that level to have a railroad train maybe right next to the river. Pretty hilly on the other side. Oh, look at this. This is looking pretty now. Oh, we are definitely in the woods, deep in it. And there are some sprinkles, but they're not coming hitting us hardly at all. Got great protection down underneath here. Well, okay, it is here again. It's raining um, profusely, I guess you might say, as I go take a look out here. It is coming down. Rain, rain everywhere. So we have a little foliage here that we're going to hang out in. Oh, look at who's got their rain gear on. Very smart, Mrs. Nistler. I'm going to call it a day for today and go home and cook Kaliki's food and our food. And we'll see okay here we are at day two at the new river campground and we're going to try it again it's supposed to be better weather today no rain i hope and about low 80s but a lot of humidity but that's okay we're dressed for the weather and we've got this got our pedal pushers on i've got my shorts for a change we've got this really awesome map that details the trail which is over 57 miles if we were to do it all but today if you can come in a little closer we're starting here in Fry's, as Michael said, the New River Trail campground. And if we go up to about this point here, which is Brush Creek, that's about five miles. And then we're gonna drop down onto this scenic bridge-covered trail all the way down to Galax, which is approximately 12 miles. So 12 miles, five, 12, 17. So by the time we get back, about 35 miles altogether. Okay. There is another loop that goes all the way up here, so the whole path is, uh, I don't know, what is it, about 50-some miles or something like 57 that? 57 miles. 57 miles. So what we're going to do is go right past the Fry's School here and make a left. Looks good for no cars. And so remember, this is a side spur. This is not on the main New River Trail. So we've got five miles that we have to go um, north to get to the trail. And I guess we have to zigzag back and forth to get here. I'm not sure if I can do this. Mm. Oh, Grace takes the shortcut. She's smart, smarter than the average husband. <laughs> oh, I just like to do it the hard way. <laughs> I'll see you in a minute. Here's a good view of the river here. Beautiful home on the other side. That is Grace pointed out. Chugga 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 chugga. Yeah, this used to be a train. I don't remember which track it is, but uh, we'll find that out for you. Please dismount and lead horse across the trussel. Huh. You don't see that very often, but yeah, I guess you wouldn't want the horse to be on wood and start slipping. That would be pretty. Now we're going through the rocky stuff in the water, that is, and uh, 
Yeah, so you can see it's going downstream um, pretty good. So we're losing, I'm guessing, maybe five, ten feet or more in elevation in this part. And after about five miles, we've reached the junction. And it says 12 miles to Galax, or Galax, if you're a local here at Fry's Junction. And here's the bridge we're going to be crossing. And we'll be on the real deal going across some trestles and I guess a couple tunnels. Let's go take a look. Oh, this is beautiful. Well, there's a little peak here. <laughs> there, initially, there was a spot where we could see over the water, but I guess when you've got a train track, you've got to go ahead and have a lot of extra reinforcement, which bikers don't need, but uh, not about to remove that once they've dismantled the train track. Just so happy that they were able to not make us dismount and that they put this wood over the track. Here we get a good look at it. I'm gonna stop for a second. That is gorgeous, isn't it? We have a tunnel coming right up here. And you know, I just realized I didn't bring a flashlight, but hopefully this isn't too long. Well, I think I see a little bit of light coming from the other end. Oh, it's dark. <laughs> I think I'm on the road. Oh, God. Oh. And once again, we are good to go. Are you ready, Grace? Nice falls here, which means we must be going uphill since we're parallel to them. But uh, it's gradual, of course. Anytime you're on a train track, it's not going to go up very quick, which is all the better for us bike riders. Okay, it looks like we have a horseshoe turn coming right here. Mountain in front of us. The river runs through it. That's why it's called the New River Trail. Grace says that's why it's called the New River Trail. Good call. Chestnut Creek. This time we have a right bend on a horseshoe turn. And this would have been quite a view, I'm sure, for the people on the trains as it came across. Cute Creek vegetation everywhere. Oh boy, more of the Chestnut Creek and um, that's what I would call a waterfall. Well, got about 10 feet coming off the rocks. Gorgeous. And we are mile 48. More of the Chestnut Bridge coming ahead. The Dalton Bridge on the Chestnut Creek. Okay, looks like we had a horseshoe bend there because here's Chestnut Creek right behind us again. This one's on a banking curve, which tells me I don't want to start recording on it. I want to have some speed before I get started because this is, has a little bit of an angle to it. Saw a sign there, it said it was constructed, well, at least that concrete stanchion 1950. And I think we've reached the end of the line. This must be Galax here. Sure enough, Galax it is. Yeah, I see a Northwest train right here. We had an awesome lunch at McAdoo's, formerly the United States Post Office of Galax. And we are saddling up our ponies. Or actually, I guess we're unlocking the locks to saddle them up. Are you ready to go back? Ready to go. Another 19, yeah, 19 miles. 19 miles sounds right. Okay. okay. So we are concluding beautiful Virginia. We had a great bike ride yesterday. Rails to trails. We did 35 miles altogether. 
and we're ready to put a sticker on it. Okay, shall we stick it? Good old Virginia. It's been a great state, hasn't it? We've had a couple places we've stayed. We like the Shenandoah National Park for sure. Definitely. And here in Fries, I guess, is the city we're in, down at the very southern border. We're just that close to being at um, North Carolina. But you can see around here, it is gorgeous. So, Grace, tell us what you like about the park here. Well, first of all, it is extremely clean. Um, the pavement that they've got down this small rock, it doesn't allow for any type of flooding or mud at the bottom of your feet. The restroom is extremely clean and well kept, and the hospitality is uh, uncomparative to any place else we've ever been. Mm -hmm. Tom, I mean, he's really a good guy here, and um, anything you want, um, they'll give it to you, but you don't really have to ask because they've got it all here. The utilities, each one of the spots for the RV is level. Good Wi-Fi, yeah! <laughs> so we're quite happy campers here, aren't we? Definitely so. The only problem I've had with Virginia is I cannot get out of my head. Mountain mama blowing like the wind. <laughs> I don't I think, think that's, that's the right lyric. I think that's West Virginia, but we're close to that also. So, yeah, we're on that side of the state. Uh, stay tuned for more. And thanks for coming and watching our videos. I hope you're enjoying them and look forward to hearing from your comments. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button down here if you haven't yet. And please, if you like us, hit that like button and share and tell a friend. So until next time, happy, happy trails. trails to you. Peace out. Bye, Bye for now. <laughs> okay, come on, let's go. <laughs>